All right, what's up everyone? Gary Simon of Corsetro.com. And as we can see, we have our Corsetro.com March stats. And I basically we have here at the top is the month of February, which only has 28 days. So that's also why in March I have the first 28 days of March just to make things fair. And so, yeah, we'll start off by comparing just these different metrics here from Google Analytics. So we have sessions from 35,000 to 47,000. So, you know, a good increase of about 12,000 almost users. Uh, so basically almost similar to unique visitors. Uh, we have an increase of around 9,000 page views, an increase of around 13,000. And uh, the pages per session and the average session duration and the bounce rate all were negatively impacted. Uh, but again, I'm not doing anything just yet. I, I know in the previous two stats of videos, I mentioned, okay, I'm going to try to do things to increase these or improve these numbers. I just haven't done it yet. I've been so busy with other stuff. Uh, but then 62% um, new sessions. So overall, very good growth. Um, and it's remaining consistent. And we'll see that here in the next section, which is labeled Google traffic. So we have Google traffic right here. And this is obviously the traffic just coming straight from Google, people typing in keywords and trying to find solutions to problems. So right here, this chart is all the way from uh, January 1st or 2nd, all the way to the 31st of March here. So we have three different months from here, here, and here. And so right here, um, this week here averaged around 165 visitors or sessions rather. Um, and then over here, we're averaging uh, around 1,500. Actually, this day right here was a Monday. It was just this last Monday, and it was around 1,630. But I think there is something strange happening there. So I chose this day right here just yesterday, which was just about 1,500. So we can see this growth is just continuing. And some weeks, you know, if you look at it, and by the way, these dips here are the weekends. So people just aren't searching for you know these type of advanced front-end development framework keywords that i'm you know i'm targeting over the weekends and i think that's pretty consistent across most industries so the, your weekdays are going to be your highest you know uh, visited term you know, days basically um so but we can still see they're increased it's a still steadily increasing so it's a very good thing um coming down here new content for march fortunately we had more content this time around uh compared to february we only had like six articles i believe but as we can see here starting here at the bottom this one was from vivs um we have this over here all the rest are from mine uh or things that i wrote and with exception just to these three articles down here here and here uh everything else is dedicated to angular 4. so you know trying out the new if else then conditionals in Angular 4. Yes, we will offer a free Angular 4 course, Angular 4 Firebase tutorial, how to install Angular 4, blah, 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 Angular 4. You get the point. Now, why? Well, that's also because Angular 4 just released, and this is a prime opportunity to try to rank for these keywords, which these keywords are brand new. You know, no one had an interest in searching for any type of content based on Angular 4 simply because it didn't exist really before now. Um, so uh, here's the great thing about it. Uh, if you go to Google and type Angular 4 tutorial, which is gonna be a pretty big keyword, you can see that this is the first organic result. This is an ad from Pluralsight. Um, we have the official documentation we have Angular Tour for Beginners. This is a really massive um, two-hour course um, on YouTube. And then the next result is, guess who? Corsetro.com. And also Corsetro.com. So I'm ranking uh, position third and fourth for this keyword, which is great. Now, it would be nice to rank for just Angular 4 alone but uh, I think I may be like page three or something. Either way, I'm already ranking for these keywords, um, which is great. I'm like on page three here, but uh, just for Angular 4. But 
um, that's the whole point. You know, you have a brand new sort of uh, version of a piece of software or a script or a library or a framework. Start writing content about it. Um, obviously, you want it to be good and relevant so that people will link to it and help you rank. So that's basically what I did with this stuff. Uh, so I'm going to be continuing to pump out Angular 4 content um, for quite a while, maybe in the next at least two weeks or so until I finish the free course that I have. And that will only serve to boost uh, my numbers in terms of the search engine traffic that I'm gaining. Now, with most of my written tutorials here, or basically all of them, I, I also have a video that I upload to the YouTube channel, which has around 115,000 subscribers. So if I go real quickly to YouTube and type in Angular 4, we'll find out, okay, so we have, this is an ad, so it doesn't really count. So we have one, two, three, four. Okay, so here I am. This is the Corsetra YouTube channel under the name Design Course. That was the old name. Um, five, uh, six, here I am again. So I'm in two of the top seven positions, I believe. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, actually six positions. I'm also right here, and I'm also right here. So people are typing in these keywords uh, in YouTube and I'm showing up for most most of the results uh, which all obviously helps as well so you can see these like uh, this this is one week old has 4,000 uh, views this is one week old with 4,700 three days old with uh, 800 Ooh, uh, it's two weeks old with 4,000 so yeah I mean, that's all I'm really doing, really doing. I'm not doing anything spammy. I'm just trying to address keywords that people are going to be searching for with relevant content. Somebody got mad <laughs> on my channel on YouTube here and said that, you know, uh, I'm targeting, I'm, I'm being too much uh, SEO bait content. I'm creating too much of this SEO bait content. Uh, here's the thing, that's marketing 101. If somebody's typing in uh, a keyword and they're trying to find content based on that keyword, why not try to be that person who's going to meet that demand? So it's economics 101. It's supply and demand. So if there's a demand for something, try to be the supplier. That way you can monetize from it. So with my YouTube channel though, I don't really make much money. Even though I have 115,000 subscribers, um, it's not much money from the ads alone. The money comes in when I try to sell the courses at the, the website. And that leads me to another topic is, you know, currently if we go to CourseSetcher.com, we'll see that the, the monetization model that I have is just a per course fee. So I have free courses here. And this one is currently in development for, Ang or for Angular 4. I'll be adding another video tomorrow, I believe, uh, as a part of this series. Uh, this one's free, this one's free, this one's free. And this is just to drive traffic. And then I have paid courses. So this one's like $20, although this is a coupon you can use. It shows right there. This one's $25, and then this one is $9. So very shortly, I'm going to be switching to a subscription model for like 9 bucks a month. And then that way... You a person could just pay $9 and get access to all this stuff. Um, and the goal here is to really increase the course count and really try to focus it on project-based courses as opposed to um, not necessarily theoretical or fundamental courses, um, but you know, just teaching people how to learn a given framework based on creating projects, real apps, real websites, et cetera. All right, so that is it. I'm not sure if I'm gonna have another uh, one of these videos in the next month. I definitely wanted to do at least the first three months of the year, which I've done now with the conclusion of this video. Um, but I'm definitely certain that uh, the website's going to keep on growing because I have no plans of stopping creating content and trying to build links. All right, uh, we'll see you guys later.